Yes, we are out of lockdown in Victoria, Australia. We can finally do a little bit of uh, rural, regional, country travel, intrastate, whatever you want to call it. Welcome to my uh, viewers, my subscribers, and anyone else who contributes anything at all to these videos. I hope you are safe from the China virus. Very quick note before we get into this. Uh, uh, most of my subscribers are there for the restorations and the motors and so on and so on. This is not one of those videos. It's an Aussie RV adventure, so drop out now, guys. But for those that want to hang around, let's have a bit of fun out of lockdown. Just driving down the main drag of Benella here, Tubers. I haven't been up this way for, oh, look so long it must be back in the 80s the last time i was in vanilla and it's probably changed a lot i can't remember we're going to have a bit of a look around um in this area there's a few museums and bits and pieces a bit of ned kelly history uh so yeah so we'll have a bit of a look around and see what we can find out tubers i'm not riding to gardens as you know uh, but they look particularly good this time of year. It's obviously spring. This is the Benalla Botanical Gardens and it's right next to Lake Benalla. Um, and it's really, really nice this time of year. So I thought I'd get a couple of shots as I say. I'm not into this sort of thing usually, but it looks nice. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Toto.
Well, I'll make this brief, Tubers. Um, this is the Museum of Vehicle Evolution in Shepparton. Actually, it's in Keala, uh, which is just south of Shepparton. So as you're coming into Shepparton, in Keala, um, I'm not going to talk through all this. It's self-explanatory. But what I will say is this probably is the best museum I have ever been in. I'm not saying it's the best in the world, but it's the best one I've ever been in. The stuff in here is amazing. The history is amazing. I'm not going to try and even begin to go through it all. Go and have a look yourself, and it's it's worth the trip to Shepparton just to have a look.
know I'm not into female clothing, guys. Um, but this is part of the museum, and it's actually scary because I've seen on the Twilight Zone at night when they close the museum, all these mannequins come to life and they move around as though like they're real people. So just, you know, just be aware of it. People, welcome to Glen Rowan. Um, this is about oh, 20 or 30k up north of uh, Benalla. A lot, a lot of history here. Um, it's basically just cafes and a pub. There's not, um, it's not a huge town or anything, but there is so much history. And that history basically revolves around Australia's most famous outlaw, which is, of course, Ned Kelly. Now, I'm not going to go on for ages about all the history. But uh, if I remember correctly, I think Glen Rowan was where he made his last stand with his friends. Uh, another two or three of them. Um, they had suits of metal armour. And that, is, that, of course, has since become legend throughout Australia and probably throughout the world. Um, he did some amazing stuff uh, in, the, in terms of crime. I'm not going to say it's amazing for, you know, for, from everyone's perspective. But... Uh, from a crime perspective, and just, uh, you know, you, you read the stories, a lot of it's pure survival and revenge, and I think there was corruption on both sides at that time, just let's put it that way, but um, the whole purpose of these videos is not for me to tell you history, it's for you people to get up off your patushkis and go and actually see some of this stuff, so get out and do it, guys. tubers you know they say the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime well that's not really the case um we came up here in well, it was for new year's eve it was either 1983 or 84 whole heap of us all the boys um and the crime was i got pulled up on the hume highway doing 146 in a hundred zone the car I was driving had no speed. It was a big V8 Falcon. And, um, yeah, it was around Seymour and a copper promptly come out of the bushes waving a radar gun in his hand and told me to stop. And the rest, of course, is history. But we went on to um, come up to the caravan park. I don't even remember if this is the same one. We're talking nearly 40 years ago. Um, drank a heap of beer, got into a heap of trouble and had a heap of fun. So I can't remember what this place looks like as compared to 40 years ago, but this is Yarrawonga. Guys, this is the Yarrawonga Weir, or pictures of construction of it. Um, this is what makes the lake, obviously. Uh, have a look at some of these pictures. The OHS is questionable, but... Uh, that's how they did things. This is back in the 1930s. So this is coming up to uh, about a uh, hundred years old.
Well, here it is, tubers, the mighty Murray River. That's Victoria. That's New South Wales. Actually, I think the border is right on the um, on the bank of the Victorian side. So I think actually where that bank is is the start of the New South Wales border. A um, bit of wildlife hanging around too. There's a lot of bloody big birds and that. You can't really see them. But uh, the old Murray, she's flowing strong. Don't know if you can make them out. Tubers down there is a... Um, few of the locals. A few uh, kangaroos hanging about. There's a couple over there. A bit of a group there. Are ah, the things you see when you haven't got a gun. Tubers, I'm thinking uh, this is right up the other end. If you, That's where we've just walked from. That down there is the um, where the water's flowing, you know, the, uh, the power station. And it comes over and you look out over the lake there, sort of. And this, I think, is the spillway in case she gets a bit full. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it looks like it'll flow out these gates down into that area. And it'll gradually run down that way. You can't really get a decent look, but um, yeah, I'm guessing that's the case. Because they sort of, these things over here look like uh, like a, not a break water but something to slow the flow of the water down a little bit but um, I could be wrong on all of that but uh, yeah she's obviously not that full at the moment oh that's all over there is um, I think it's all part of Club Mulwala I think that's been there a long time uh, yeah we might start slowly heading back tube is that right there looks like you can't really see it too well um, looks like the intake for the power station or a couple of the intakes and this little bit branches off down here uh, into what appears to be a canal and I'd suggest that it go inland for irrigation so um, yeah, good water supply there well guys this was totally unexpected uh, I didn't come to Yarrawonga for this, but there was a uh, hot rod show on from, I think it's the Northern Suburbs Rod Club. Um, yeah, big do, lots of trade shops and that sort of thing as well, but uh, yeah, quite unexpected. So yeah, we'll walk around, have a bit of a look around at the cars. There's some beautiful cars and uh, makes me miss the car I've had, but I'll have another one one day.
well tubers that's it for part 49 uh, thank you to my subscribers my viewers and anyone else who contributes anything at all to these videos stay clear of the China virus hopefully pretty soon I'll have a few motors to do up with a bit of luck um, as I say I know most of my subscribers don't come to see the Aussie RV adventures videos but anyway that's fine you don't have to watch them I don't mind if you do anyway have fun